practice with this kind of division ladder method. So um, it's also problem three on one side of your worksheet. And on your worksheet, it shows you the old fashioned method. So remember that method always works. For some people, it's not a great method. So we're going to try other strategies. So one thing that I've been reminding you guys to do to kind of understand why it looks like the decimal moves is to rewrite this in a ratio table. This is 10.5 divided by 12 hundredths. Since that's 12 hundredths, we want to multiply by 100 to change that to 12, right? So in a, divi in a ratio table, you do the same thing to the numerator and the denominator, so that becomes 1,050. From there, some people will choose to do long division without decimals. Okay, so I'll just go through <coughs> that and then we'll show that other method and how they compare. Okay, so long division without decimals is 12 times what? So 12 doesn't go to 10, but it goes into 100, 500 times. Um, 12 times 8 is 90 what? 96. Yeah. So the old traditional method, you would RO and make this, so you would have to make this 9 and that 15, right? 15 take away 6 is? 9. 9. Then you would bring down your 0. And you'd say 8 goes into 90 how many times? I mean 12. 12 goes into 90. Seven. 7. So 12 times 7 is 84, right? So when you subtract, you get 6. So it's 87 and 6 twelfths, which is the same thing as 87.5. Because that's a benchmark fraction, 6 twelfths, right? Now, you can also do the method on your sheet where you put the decimal and put the zero, but since it's on your sheet, I'm not going to do that. Well, you want me to go that way too? You want to see the new method, right? Okay, so the other method would be to say, take this problem here again and use that problem, 10,050, divided by 12. And so you can write a division ladder and all you need to do is think of a fact that you want to use to multiply something by 12 to get close, get a big number. Like I could do, over here you, you said 12 times 8 is 96, right? Over here. So I could do 12 times 80 and I would get 960. And I could just subtract. I could pick any number I want here as long as my product is smaller than 1,050. Does that make sense? <coughs> you get that? So now I'm going to subtract. Zero take away zero, zero. I can't take six from five, so I have to go over to the 10 and make a nine and make that 15 and I get 80, right? Oh, I'm sorry, 90. <laughs> Better? So then I can pick, like suppose I didn't think right, I just had 12 times five down. That was the next thing that came to mind. It doesn't matter, I could do 12 times five because I know 12 times five is 60. And then I can subtract and I get a 30. And then I go, oh, 12 times 2 gives me what? 24, right. So I can subtract and I get 6. And now 12 doesn't go into 6. So I add these up and I get 87, right? And my remainder is 6. So I say it's 87 and 6, 12. Which is one half, which is 0.5. 87 and a half, or 87.5. Both of these would be simplified answers. So it works with decimals too, if you know your benchmark fraction. Or straight benchmark fractions. Can that help? So I'll just record, like, we'll just post that in division ladder.